Welcome to Madame Two Swords and our tour of Madame Two Swords in September 2020. And yes, check out how quiet it is here. We're going to show you around and give you some tips. So stick with us. Here we go. So welcome to Madame Two Swords on the Marylebone Road, right next to Baker Street Tube Station. Madame Two Swords has to be one of the most famous tourist destinations in London, and often the queues are really, really long. But at this time when we came, the queues were non-existent. So if you want to get to Madame Two Swords, the sooner you go, the better it is. And we'll tell you how you can get tickets. As you go up and come out of the lift, this is your welcome party. Everything has been well thought out of, and also there's great opportunities to have your photos taken with all of the famous stars. And it's absolutely incredible because many times you look round and go, oh my word, that's so and so, and they're the absolute image. Madame Two Swords is split into different sections, so we will show you around. Our first tip, like we've done in many other times, is make sure you take a phone which is fully charged for all the pictures, but also take a recharger with you as well, because the number of photos you're gonna take is bonkers. Right, we're gonna leave Johnny Depp here and Nicole Kidman and go to the first of the themed areas. And this is from the film Alien. Here, you enter the spaceship. Now, you don't have to go this way and you can bypass this. And if you've got really young children, it can be quite scary. So just a word of warning. The effects that Madame Two Swords have put in are absolutely fantastic, as you can see with King Kong here. Everything's been well thought out, and as you can see here, you've got different characters from different films of all sorts of ages. So there really is something from everyone. What's also interesting is that one of the members of the family came here just a year ago and they said how much things have changed. So they keep everything really well refreshed. So when Daniel Craig moves on as James Bond, you can expect the new one very, very shortly. If a film fan, unlike Alfred Hitchcock, they've got this specially for you. I'm also gonna put a link in the top right hand corner to the mosaics at one of the stations on the London Underground, purely dedicated to Alfred Hitchcock films. We now enter the sports arena. So I'm now gonna leave you to have a look and see how many of these people you recognize. One of the things we loved was the new and the old intermingled. Here we go into the royal section and you can have a professional photo done by Madame Two Swords here with the Queen and her family. And here comes another great photo opportunity with Harry and Meghan on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Oh and here's Jaden, he's joined them as well, he's been invited up royally specially. Now you've got to remember that all of these wax dummies are done to size and it quite surprised us how tall some of these people were.
now we enter the world of music, starting off with Britney Spears and a lot of her friends. At the time we filmed this at the beginning of September 2020, none of the rides that have been previously available were, which made the tour around take about just under two hours. And as you can also see, there's not many people around, so the quicker you go, the better. Later on, you can hear Beyonce's voice as she takes you through the modeling process that she went through to become a waxwork dummy here at Madame Tussauds. Not only can you get by the wax dummies, but they've also set up different sections like these here, so you can get up close and personal. So you had one direction, oh, they seem to have gained an extra band member. And you can also have a cup of tea with the Queen as well. If Marvel's your thing, there is a major section set aside for Marvel characters. And also this great interactive go. So you can stand there and look, there we are, the effects that you can produce. As you can see, a big section has been set aside for Marvel. So if you're a Marvel fan, without doubt, this is a must. We went online and purchased our tickets for Madame Two Swords the day before and found there were great discounts to be had. In fact, we got nearly 40% off our ticket price. So it's worth shopping around to see what you can get beforehand. When you buy your tickets, you also get a specific time to go in. So just be aware of that for timing in getting up to London if you're on your way up on a day visit or you're coming from somewhere else. Now we're entering into the last section of the Madame Two Swords displays. And welcome to the Star Wars section. With characters and scenes from all of the Star Wars films, without doubt if you're a Star Wars fan and you're in London, this is an exhibition you'll want to come to just for this part alone. You can get up and close to all of these models to have your photo taken again. And if you fancy sitting in the cantina with Han Solo, it's all right, he's not holding his gun if you've watched the film, that is. As you can see here, Jaden fancied to go with flying the Millennium Falcon. The great thing also as you go around Madame Two Swords is a lot of the characters have either music that's associated with it playing or some of the phrases that they're famous for. Due to copyright on YouTube, there's no way we can actually play this, which is why we have the backing music. But if you know the films and also know a lot of the characters that we've shown you already, you can guess some of the well-known phrases and music that have been playing in the background. I hope you've enjoyed our visit to Madame Two Swords and it's given you a flavour for what you can see there. So I hope one day you'll get down to Madame Two Swords as well. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the right of other great places you can take children to in London and I'll see you in there in a couple of ticks.